Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow and made possible by our awesome patrons on Patreon. Find out how you can support these videos in the description below. Today we're gonna have some fun with Deuce, the three month old chocolate lab. I mean, he's only been on this earth a few weeks, so there's a lot he has not yet experienced. And today we're gonna change that. Click thumbs up for Deuce, subscribe to my channel, and pick up a copy of my best selling book, Dog Training Revolution, to learn everything you can about raising your new dog. One of my favorite new experiences has been don't bite me, not having to go to the store to get my dog's food anymore. You can have your dog's food automatically shipped right to your front door from PetFlow. Just choose your favorite brand of dog food, decide how often you want it delivered, and enter code ZACK30 when you check out, and you'll get $10 off your first three orders. All the details are in the description below, and thank you to PetFlow for supporting modern dog training methods and for making our lives easier. Dog training is so much more than just teaching your dog things. It's about showing them the world and letting them experience life with you. Sometimes you'll introduce them to new things on purpose and other times new things will catch you both completely by surprise. But either way, your dog's reaction to new things can tell you so much about their personality. This one is an absolute classic. Who doesn't love watching a dog eat peanut butter? I know for a fact he's actually never had peanut butter before. Honestly, I'm just doing this for kicks, really. We don't want to give him too much. You look ridiculous. This is why you're subscribed to my channel right here. It's safe to say that Deuce loves peanut butter. Every once in a while when a dog catches a glimpse of their reflection, they have a hilarious reaction. Let's see how Deuce reacts to his reflection. So far, pretty good reaction. He's not barking. I wonder if he even understands it's him. I always wonder these things. Oh, look at that, he's looking behind it. This is so interesting. I actually didn't expect this to be so interesting. You can see he's looking behind the mirror. I hear only elephants and gorillas do that. And now you, it's a breakthrough. Now you can see he's getting way more intrigued. Quit biting me. Look how ridiculous you look when you bite. You don't want to look ridiculous, do you? That dog in that mirror, nowhere near as cute as you. Preventing resource guarding is one of the most valuable things you can do, especially with a young puppy, because usually it hasn't emerged when they're this young, so you can prevent it from happening in the first place. So, for example, he's chewing this bone right now. I'm gonna let him chew it. I'm gonna hold on to it, right, just like that. You know, and then I'm gonna take it away, right? He's reacting really well, and I'm gonna give it right back to him, letting him know, look, it's not gonna go away forever. This shows them how to really be tolerant when you wanna take things away from them so they don't snap at you and things like that. So it's a really valuable exercise. I'd say he likes the bones though, wouldn't you? You can't just eat all the bones at one time. Deuce, we've made a mess. I've gotta clean all this up now. He's not too scared of the vacuum. It's become quite the fad to see how dogs react to lemons, but actually lemons and limes aren't so good for dogs, but oranges are safe. So let's see how Deuce reacts to this orange. This is a completely new experience. It tastes completely different than anything he's ever had before. It's just kind of neat to see how dogs react to these things. Hey Deuce, aren't you glad you tried this? Not only is it fun to watch dogs experience things for the first time because the reactions can be great, it's so much fun to watch the wheels turning too as they try to make sense of it. But it's also important for the bonding process between you and your dog. Doing things like this brings you and your dog closer together and when your dog looks to you because they're confused about something new, you can be right there to show them how neat the world can be. Many dogs really love cat toys. Let's see how Deuce reacts to this cat toy. Look what you can learn about his reaction. Right there, he's, his interest is peaked. I'm gonna try and make it a little more enticing and see what he thinks of it. The eyes are lighting up. Oh boy, look at him. There he goes, he's definitely interested. Now I'm gonna play a little keep away to make it extra interesting. Just like you would with a cat, actually. And that high pitched sound has got his attention. You know, I've taught some really cool things using cat toys to entice many dogs. And when you find something like this that really gets your dog to light up, it can be a fantastic way to really spark their interest in paying attention to you. Next on our list is a balloon. Now, some dogs get really weirded out by balloons and other dogs really love them. So let's see how Deuce reacts. <laughs> Trust me, you don't wanna bite that. Just don't ever let your dog swallow a balloon. It floats. It's a little bit different behaving than other toys he may have seen in the past. What is that? And you can see he's a little skeptical. I'm gonna let him go up to it and smell it if he wants to. He's thinking about it. There he goes. They're really big and then they get really small. Look at that. What happened to it? 
fascinating. Over time, you're gonna learn to read your dog's subtle body language. You'll be able to tell when they're feeling unsure or enticed by something new. If you can be there with your dog when they experience new things, you can help them feel confident if they're nervous or be part of the fun when they're excited. A balloon's one thing. Let's try something a little bit bigger though. Let's get, come on, come on. Oh, he's peeing. And even if he doesn't encounter a big giant red ball in real life, he will encounter other things. And this tells us a lot about what to expect when he does encounter something new. Believe it or not, I've actually met some dogs that don't know what these fidget spinners are all about. <laughs> Give me that fidget spinner. He's so curious about new things. That's a really good quality in a puppy. So next we've got some ice cubes and these have some nice special treats inside. It's got a carrot and an apple. It's neat to see how dogs react to things that are really cold. Those temperature changes can be interesting. These are also nice as a special treat to give your dog to kind of keep their interest if you're busy doing something. Showing the world to your dog is a great way to improve the quality of your relationship and work on your mutual communication together. I've never seen one of these before. It's a bubble gun. Whoa! Oh, forget his reaction. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. How does this thing work? How are you not seeing this? This is fascinating. Who invented this? They're so colorful. Thank you so much to PetFlow and especially to our patrons on Patreon who made this video possible too. Think about becoming a part of our Patreon community and get your dog's food automatically shipped to you so that you don't have to make any more trips to the pet store. All those links will be in the description. Give a big thumbs up for Deuce. He really experienced a whole new world today. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel too. Hey, you did a good job. See you guys next time.